guys and welcome back to some more Hypixel Skyblock. I kickstart this stream today with some terrible news. I've been away for the past week and I'd scheduled a couple videos in my absence. One of them I didn't really think much of. I was kind of clouded on Swavy a little bit because he randomly decided to challenge my net worth. I didn't ask for any of this. All I did was exist and I invoke competition. My very presence is that terrifying. But I seem to have started something in the whole YouTube space because now every YouTuber and their nans use it as an excuse to try and get contraband and lately i've actually been knocked off of my throne by somebody other than swavy billions just came out of nowhere because of one little item and i am outraged so let's examine the damage shall we i don't like seeing that little lighting next to my name bro i didn't mind when doctor was number one because he was an admin and he was just abusing but now i've actually been overtaken by a legit player buckles damn you man damn you and your builder clay that is worth tens of billions i i honestly hate it so we're back down to number two. I never wanted to ask for any coins. I never wanted to get involved in this. All I wanted to do was clown at the fact that Swavy was trying to overtake me while he was like 30 billion coins behind me. I was just laughing at him. And now people are actually using this as an excuse to dethrone me. I don't know what's going on. All I wanted to do was exist. I was enjoying actually having a purse above 10 billion coins again. And look what it's cost me. So today I'm just going to be vibing. I'm doing some data and hoping I can finally drop a Chimera buck because I gotta get some coins myself, right? Maybe it's time to hang up the Hyperion and find a new RPG to conquer, like Core's Primal World. Core is a metaverse of over 50,000 free community-made games from shooters to puzzles to platformers to literally becoming a marble. And if you somehow can't find something you like, you can bring your ideas to life and create your own experiences to share with others. You can also kit yourself out in the freshest drip in the avatar designer with hundreds of hairstyles, outfits, and accessories to choose from. And I did mention that doing all of this is free, right? All you need to do is search up Core on the Epic Games Store. Lately, I've been lost in Primal World, a Skyblock-esque RPG with stunning graphics where you fight against the ancients, complete puzzles and quests, and find hidden treasures until you're strong enough to take down the toughest bosses alongside your friends. Gems can be used to open loot boxes containing valuable items and even new companions that can follow you around on your travels. The depth of this game is truly impressive and it blows my mind that this is just one out of the thousands of free user-made games available on Core. So use the links down in the description to play Primal World by downloading Core for free and thank you so much to Core for sponsoring today's video. Also, I know I know I'm probably going to get a load of comments asking about what mod I'm using to show where the Griffin waypoints are. I don't want any of you getting ratted, so I will link it in the description. It's called Soupy V2. And if you go into slash Soupy settings events, you can turn on load burials from particles and estimate burial location from ability. And you'll be able to see a guesstimate as to where your burial is going to be. Every time you right click with the spade, you can see the guest kind of moving. It's better than nothing. All right, let's try this out. Apparently, if we use the 5L one and swap over to the Day Axe. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. So we can still get the magic find while it kills them. The one thing I'm sad about is that I was hoping to try this out, this event. But if using mage is the meta for it, which is pretty much the meta for everything in this game at this point, I don't really think swapping to a Clover Helm is really going to help us out. Because not only will we lose out on 50% ability damage, we also get minus 5% of it. Yeah, that kind of breaks me a little bit. Use 3 4 Sorrow and Wither Goggles. That's honestly not a bad shout. All of these mobs are so pathetically weak that I may as well be getting the magic find from Sorrow. Also, it's on Renown, so I guess that technically will give a little bit of ability damage, right? Oh, this setup looks gross. Oh, I'm really not liking the fit right now. Ugh. Yeah, easy one tap. And I get a tiger plushie off the rip. Obviously, that is 100% worth doing from now on. <laughs> Bro, what the hell is this? You're actually saying to buy one of these just for the two magic find it gives? To be honest, I'm questioning why I haven't made one of these before. This one also has Kyan on it. I've been meaning to put that on my own equipment for a long time. I'm just waiting for the attributes to all be finalized with Infernal Kudra before I do that. 
Meh, screw it, may as well. Why do I do this to myself? I'm trying to compete for net worth here, man. What are you doing to me, chat? I mean, sure, 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 why not? Well, I always thought this thing looked sick when it first came out, but I've only just realized the reason I've never gotten one of these is because it can't have attributes on it. And attributes are absolutely the most OP thing about equipment. Like, why would I want that crappy perk of healing 1% health every two seconds if I can have mana regen 10 on it, you know? Like, what's the point? <gasps> An Inquisitor! I've never RCM'd one of these before, and I'm already out of mana. This is not going well. If I don't have enough to shoot up my SOS flare, things are seriously, seriously wrong. Let's try and get the Dayak swap in as well. We need our 5L wand. There we go. Bro, why am I so tanky as a mage? This is mad. Ancient claws. A tragedy. All right, we got a mob here. I want to see if we can actually pull off the Clover Helmet swap because I haven't had a chance to use this item yet. And as you can see, I paid a pretty penny for it. So please say this is actually a viable thing we can do. We go bam, bam, bam. And they're already dead. <laughs> All right, we'll try it against something with a little bit more HP. If this works out, though, you all are about to see me actually hypermax an item for the first time in a long time. I'm talking G7, P7, Big Brain 5, everything, without you even having to beg me to. All right, we got a champion. This is a good mob to try this out against. We'll get him kind of low. We'll do this, this, and this. Okay, it's not awful. I don't know how it's going to work against an Inquisitor. Also, my gosh, this texture is beautiful. Yeah, I'm gonna max it out. Screw it. Don't max it. If it's maxed, it'll just take more of your stats. I mean, that's true, actually. The more I put on this, the worse it gets. <laughs> Technically, then, Legion and Renown are the only things worth putting on it, which is kind of sad. But screw it. I'm gonna do it anyway. Big Brain 5, G7, P7. Don't even have to spend any money, man. I've had those in a backpack for so long. Well, there's the expensive enchants out the way, at least. Now, let's go into the Hex. Hecatome, because why not? Rejuvenate 5. Aqua Affinity. Respiration. I don't really need any of the others. The only other one I could potentially want would be Strong Mana. 100 million. And technically, it would just make me even weaker. It did say I wanted to put everything on it, but that does seem a little bit ridiculous. Meh. Screw it. This is why we're falling behind in the net worth race, lads. No other reason. This is what's destroying me right now. Oh, I love how you can add these from the hex now. I haven't had the chance to do this yet. Ooh, that is clean. Make sure we get an art of peace on there as well. Modifiers. Recombobulate that bad boy. Reforges. Give me the dragon horn. Thank you. And finally, Legion 5. That is looking sexy. It's been a hot minute since I've done that, man. You may all be wondering why I actually am doing Diana right now, because with the price of Chimera bucks, I think I'd have to have the RNG of a saint to be able to get back to the number one net worth spot. Obviously, dropping it would be nice. It's still one of the few RNGs in this entire game that I've never been fortunate enough to get. But if we look over at the ways to gain Skylock XP and the coming soon thing, you can actually see the texture for the Beastmaster crest sitting up here. And I am ashamed to admit that I see still haven't maxed out the kills on my Beastmaster crest. It maxes out at 10k, so to be honest, I'm a bit further along than I thought, but I'm hoping by the end of this Diana, I can actually max that thing out, because I really, really have been slacking for a very long time, and I'm happy just to sweat. Also, thank you for the three Jonah. Auction an item, I have a surprise. Actually, how much did the first one sell for? Oh my days, Mexico Wi-Fi. You are going crazy, my man. Thank you. Bro, why do I not auction buckets anymore, huh? If anything, I'm glad this whole net worth war has happened. I just kind of chilled out. I am retired. I have like every item in the game. We got billions and billions saved up for the next few updates. I can afford everything that I want. All is golden. I'm not going to auction things because then I'll look like a scumbag. But now I have an excuse to again. And it's beautiful. Thank you so much, Jonah. Wait, what? Are you all actually going that crazy? Thank you for it. 
oomph and victory. And of course, Jody. Dude, apparently Swaby just got given 15 billion. He has to be out here begging for those coins, making NPCs, making all these murals. I just have to stream and you guys are telling me to auction stuff. It's... It's wholesome, man. I appreciate you. And with that kind of consistency and that kind of support, that's why I'm convinced that I won't be shaken off number one. Maybe temporarily while all of this is going on, but overall, that spot will remain firmly mine. Also, this really isn't too bad to do. I wonder how much magic find that is. I need to get a drop, bro. That's gotta be a ton. Max magic find on this bad boy. Let's do it and hopefully not die. This is the one I'm semi-afraid of dying to. Fire Veil. Antique remedies! Let's go, dude! We're using like a 300 magic find setup or something for antique remedies! I'm auctioning it. You know what? We're in shameless mode today, chat. Wait, doesn't that have the same drop chance as Chimera? I hate my life. Wait, what? <laughs> Don't donate to Swavy. Is this guy's IGN? <laughs> I love you. Dude, this guy is a king. Thank you, Skizzle Chat and Trickster as well. You guys are crazy, but don't donate to Sway. <laughs> when you kill a zombie, equip G-Drag. And when you dig a burrow, equip Griffin. And now every single time I dig up a mob, I can kill it with a G-Drag and abuse the G-Drag magic find, which will actually be like 300 with the magic find setup I'm using. And still dig up the rare mobs? Bro. I know this was a bug a long time ago, but I don't know why. I thought they patched it. Like, I used to do this, and then I stopped doing it because I figured, yeah, there's no way this is still a thing. It's still a thing? We are abusing Magic Find today, boys. We're using a glitch to use a G-Drag to kill these mobs, a Minos Relic on it to get even more Magic Find out of that, Daedalus Axe swapping with Looting 5 on it to get even more drops from that. We're using the Clover Helmet, 2 billion coins for a plus 5% Magic Find, and we're using the Annihilation Cloak and Delirium Necklace, which this cost me 340 million for two Magic Find, and this wasn't too bad for one Magic Find. So yeah, my days, this is actually a pretty Pretty decked out magic find setup right now. Also, why do I get a runic one of those? No, the shame. Leave me alone. You don't understand. We are getting so unlucky with drops right now. And this whole time, I've just wanted to know how much magic find that actually is. So we're going to go stab some ghosts real quick. And also, it gives me an excuse to leave the lobby where I've just been bullied. Hold up, I'm still doing nearly a million damage in three-fourths sorrow and a clover helmet? I'm quite literally having all my stats reduced by 5% except for magic find and I can still like one-tap the ghosts? What? Definitely can't do it with a Daedalus Axe though, but all I need is one drop from these bad boys and I'm out of here. So come on, let me see what my magic find actually is. 327%. What? Bear in mind my ghost bestiary sucks by the way. I know a lot of people get crazy magic find on ghosts because they have such high bestiary. I do not, but that is kind of fat, man. Those are the kind of numbers I'm seeing when Aatrox is mad, let alone just regularly playing the game. Yo, I dug up myself. Oh, it's nice to know that I'm still worth 200 million coins. Thank you, Flying Ruby. <laughs> Wait, I just realized something. Two of the biggest items that make up my net worth that previously would have made me untouchable. My pure black storm and my pure black necron are now both worthless. Dude, and my black maxor boots. That used to be one of two. That used to be one of two. And that used to be one of five. And it's now all pointless. That would have no joke been another 100 billion in my net worth. <sighs> That stings. And that is the reason I will never buy that black dye from the bitch shop. I refuse to. No matter how clean things may end up looking, I can't support it, man. It's utterly ruined me. It's literally cut my net worth in half. Nah. What? <laughs> What? What, he's actually doing it? I really, really hope people aren't doing this just to hop on the hype of the whole net worth war. Like, I hope you're genuinely, like, quitting or being serious or something. I mean, I don't hope that you're quitting. I, I, I really don't. But, you know, like, I hope you're not doing this just for the short-lived clout and you're thinking this through, brother man, because what the hell? Well, you know what? We got given a hype here that pays back the one bill I gave to Swavy. <laughs> we're officially even. <laughs> we're at the same as what we were before. <laughs> Thank you very much, Godly Laws. I appreciate it, man. I am man time he's not even quitting he's just swapping profiles what a chad hypothetically if you were to have a builder's clay 
Would that put you back in first? I think so, Dio. Honestly, I don't know. Buckles wasn't even in the top five and he put that thing in his inventory and now he's number one. So I don't know what that's valued as in the API, but my guy skyrocketed after he started holding that thing again. Unless he's found a load of other items from somewhere, I don't know. Let me message Jin. Yo, pause champ, lads. Is today the day, Hector? No, bad. Oh, you're scared now, Buckles. <laughs> You'll be partying with YouTube time deal. I wonder what this could be about. The servers are kicking me out. Please let me in. <laughs> Damn, you must not want number one net worth then. No, I want it. Please, 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 please. I'm in. Couldn't warp you. Bro, everything is stopping me right now. What is this? Bro, bro, come on. God damn it, dude. <laughs> iPixel wants Buckles to win. My man's in the code. Yo, look what Landon just tweeted, lads. You know what they say? Two values is better than one. Enchants and recoms and everything are now actually going to be factored into the item's value in the museum. The server may be on Buckles' side, considering this trade just cannot happen with the servers crashing right now. But at least they're not on Swavy's side. That benefits me massively. That is a huge buff to me and a huge nerf to him. Oh my God, I love this. I love this. I love this. Oh my God, let's go. Let me check on the antique. Bartosco, what an uh, hey, yo. That's actually better than if I even dropped the book off that Inquisitor. <laughs> Everything's finally starting to go right apart from being able to make this damn trade. <gasps> They're in! I actually don't know what the situation is here. There's no shot he's giving me a builder's clay just to keep indefinitely, right? This item is apparently worth 30 billion coins. That would be like the fattest contraband I've ever gotten. Off of Dio and Jin of all people. There's no way they give me a rare collectible item for free. I, I don't know what the logistics are here, gentlemen, but I'm intrigued. Hmm, well, 30 billion, huh? What if there's just a slight mistype, you know? Refraction, the cunning scam artist. 30 billion for your builder's clay, Mr. Jin. I promise that's a fat 30 bill. Accept it, you know you want to. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, I own it. I actually own it. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Now all we gotta do is wait for the API to update, baby. Well, nice knowing you guys. Thank you all so very much. I am out of here. Slash ignore add time deal. Slash ignore add gin. Let's freaking go, dude. <laughs> This item worth so much. I am so far ahead once again. Oh my goodness. We have propelled. I haven't even sold the Hyperion or anything. What is wrong with this item? Holy crap. Well, thank you, Jin and Dio. I appreciate you big time. And thank you all so very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing if you're new around here. And I'll see you all soon. And don't forget to check out Primal World. You can play it now by using the link in the description to download Core for free.